William Worthington may have grown up in Australia and rose to fame there as well, but the Avatar star has lived plenty of years in the US as well. In 2021, however, Sam finally sold his Hollywood Hills mansion for $8.2 million after it sat on the market for over a year. He and his wife Laura had lived there since 2018, and the luxurious estate offered a contemporary meets East Coast traditional style, along with almost 8,000 square feet of space and high class amenities. It said that he, his wife, and their three young sons decided to make the move back to Australia for a while in 2020. But it was also reported that they have a spot in New York City and spend a lot of time there too. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2020, Sam Worthington placed his lavish Hollywood Hills mansion on the market. However, it didn't sell until May 2021. The home was stunning and ended up selling for a point two million dollars, about a million dollars less than the original asking price the Worthingtons were hoping for. Regardless, they paid $7.9 million for the home back in 2018, so they still made somewhat of a profit on the sale rather than lost anything. Located above the Sunset Strip in the Hollywood Hills, the former Worthington residence was right in the heart of the action. Property was set high up in the Bird Streets neighborhood, where other celebrities have also called home over the years, including the like of Ariana Grande, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matthew Perry, and many more. Built in 2015, this mansion boasted a contemporary meets classic East Coast traditional design. And outside it stood out from the neighboring homes due to its towering hedges and pristinely manicured greenery. The lot may have only been 0.3 acres, but it packed in plenty in the yard as well as plenty of privacy too. But more on that in just a moment. Inside, Sam's former family home had more than enough room for the growing brood spanning 7,718 square feet of space and offering up five bedrooms and 7.5 bathrooms throughout. Most of the interior spaces were decked out with clean white walls, light colored wooden floors, recessed lights, and a lot of natural light too, thanks to the abundance of windows. There were also a few fireplaces scattered throughout to warm up the modern abode and some retractable walls of glass, such as in the living room. This chic common area was open plan and boasted an exposed brick fireplace as well as the glass doors that open up to the patio and a handy outdoor living space. First walking into the former Worthington crib, you were greeted with a double height foyer with formal dining room directly to one side. This petite yet stylish eating space had walls covered in blush colored wood and a garden view through the windows. Then moving to the chef's kitchen, the stylish space had a mix of black cabinets and wooden furnishings, including the long and casual dining table here. There were also marble countertops here, a spacious center island, and upscale appliances. Upstairs, the couple one-time master suite was one of the nicest rooms in the home, with wood beam ceilings and a built-in marble fireplace with TV mounted above. Just past this, there are French doors out to the private balcony, while a sliding barn door leads you to the ensuite bath. This fresh space has highlights like an oversized glass walk-in shower, dual sinks, and a freestanding tub with more French doors to the balcony set behind it, also making for amazing views. Elsewhere on the property, aside from the guest and family bedrooms in the main house, there was also a guest house that was given a new purpose. These days, it functions as the fully equipped home gym on the upper level and also boasts a movie theater and wine cellar. Meanwhile, the stylish backyard was fit for entertaining with its covered lounging patio on one side and another al fresco dining terrace across the lawn from it. There was also an outdoor kitchen as well as the gorgeous pool and spa back here. It seems that while the Worthingtons enjoyed this home, they moved around a bit over the years, and they didn't end up staying all that long. Hollywood wasn't the only place where Sam owned property either. Back in 2015, the actor placed his sprawling home in Hawaii on the market for around $6.5 million. It wasn't discovered until a while after, but reportedly the eventual buyer was CrossFit founder Greg Glassman, who purchased the spread for $6.12 million, just slightly under the asking price. Located in Kiliamakai on the island of Kauai, the property spanned a sprawling four acres of land, and Sam had bought it in 2012, just before meeting his model wife, Lara, and after years of couch surfing and living in his car, apparently. The impressive abode offered panoramic views from nearly every room, and it was constructed in a plantation style with three beds and three baths throughout. 
The main house here is spanned about 4,300 square feet of space and it was built in 2008, boasting interiors designed by Steven Zeffert. There is also plenty of open plan spaces like the combination living and dining room that had retractable glass walls leading to an ocean side deck. Now one of the decks at Sam's former home actually had a built in jacuzzi along with some killer beach views. Out of the three bedrooms in the home, two were spacious and luxurious master suites which both opened up to lava rock gardens with outdoor showers. Other bonuses on the property included a state of the art security system, a tennis and basketball court, a swimming pool overlooking the ocean and an outdoor spa. Not to mention the home had a three car garage which was transformed into a state-of-the-art gym featuring all the five-star machines and equipment one might want. Ideal for the CrossFit genius who wound up buying the home, that's for sure. Next door, there was also an additional plot of land with 100 coconut trees, apparently, measuring almost 2.4 hectares. It was also for sale for an extra $3.64 million, and it had the possibility to be combined into one massive property. At the time of purchasing the home, Sam said about this area of Hawaii, I love it there, I love the people, it's very laid back, and it's a really friendly place to live. And also, that he chose Hawaii over Hollywood easily, continuing on to say, I would never live in LA, I hate that place. Funnily enough, that's exactly where he ended up going after letting go of this Hawaii retreat. While we know that Sam and his family ended up spending some years living primarily in Los Angeles, despite whatever the actor's former views on Hollywood were, as of now, it's unknown of the Worthington's exact location. Around 2020, in the same time they were selling their Los Angeles abode, the couple and their three kids moved back to Australia for some time, while the actor took on a role in the Sydney Theatre Company's production of Appropriate. The dark comedy was at the Roslyn Packer Theatre, and since it was set to run for an extended period, the Worthingtons had likely been spending a lot of time in Sydney themselves. According to his wife Lara's Instagram, they also spend a lot of time in New York City as well, so it could be that the family hasn't purchased a new abode just yet. Lara has said in the past that she was used to uprooting the family for Sam's busy acting schedule. She said, We travel everywhere together and we never have more than two weeks apart from each other. And that really works for us. So regardless of where Sam is working, it seems that the whole family comes along and sticks together. While we might have to wait and see where Sam Worthington buys a home next, we did get a glimpse into he and his family's former properties, which were pretty lavish to say the least. So with that, I think that will end this house tour here. Before we head out though, answer this question for me. If your partner had a demanding career all over the globe, would you tag along with the family each and every time? Or stay at a home base in one location while they work? Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another tour. Bye.